Uh, my name is Jonathan Tumim. I'm the founder and owner of HEG Research. That is a company that builds devices for doing neurofeedback to improve concentration and focus. The technology is called hemoencephalography. It's a technique for measuring brain blood oxygenation in real time and giving that uh, information as feedback to people. Given feedback about their physiological uh, processes, given feedback about a person's brain activity, people can learn how to control it and how to increase their brain activity above baseline levels. Up to now, it's mostly been marketed primarily towards therapists, uh, psychotherapists, psychologists, clinical psychologists, a few psychiatrists, people like that. However, I've been working on bringing the usability up and the price down so that it can be uh, used by end users. The technique of hemoencephalography was invented by my grandfather in 1994, so you could say I got grandfathered into this. My grandfather's name is Herschel Tumim. I studied neuroscience in college. I got a Bachelor uh, of Arts degree from UC Berkeley in neurobiology. So that piqued my interest. My goal in life is to investigate methods of making people more intelligent. I want to increase the quantity and quality of cognitive output of humans. And this seems like one of the most promising ways of doing that. I'm going to be moving to Bangalore, India in less than a month. Um, currently, the company is basically just me, so I figured that instead of outsourcing in order to improve capital efficiency, it would make more sense to just move the entire company, i.e. me, uh, to Bangalore. Bangalore is essentially the uh, Silicon Valley of India. It's the tech hub of India. Um, India speaks English uh, much better than most other countries, and India has always fascinated me on a personal level, so it uh, has some synergy on that level. I'm hoping to have a device that's about half the current cost, so about $500 in a year or so. Um, and I'm hoping to keep bringing that price down. Uh, I look at the model that NeuroSky is using right now of having a very cheap device that, um, well, it's cheap, not just inexpensive, uh, that has moderately low uh, quality but has a lot of interesting things you can do with it. And I see that that has a lot of merit, but I also see that there's a lot of merit to building devices which are fairly expensive, but uh, very, very powerful and robust. Um, I want to go down both routes, and the second route is probably going to take more time, but I expect to have um, a device which I'm hoping to get through FDA approval and, and so forth and get uh, approved for a, f a few different treatments within five years or so, but I don't know, I might be deluding myself about that. We'll see how hard it is. And it's going to be especially difficult for me because I am bootstrapping this whole thing. It's basically me. I, I did have some help uh, a while ago. There was a, a guy who was helped a guy named Tom Miller, who is helping me with a lot of the electrical engineering. Um, but uh, his day job interfered, and um, so now it's, it's pretty much just me. I kind of I have to do it all. I really want to be a scientist. Um, at the moment, I'm rather annoyed, moderately annoyed that I have to be an engineer. I'm very annoyed that I have to be a businessman, but um, engineers by themselves are not very powerful. Scientists by themselves are not very powerful. Business, businessmen by themselves uh, think they're powerful, but they're not. It's only when you bring all those things together that you actually get things done. And to actually get the things that I need to, uh, or want to get done, done, I have to do it a lot, um, or largely myself. So um, I do find that doing all these things myself and having the whole picture and, and all the control myself, it, it's daunting. It's a lot of work, but it's also extremely rewarding because I can look at everything that, that uh, this company has produced and say, I did that. You can find my website at hegresearch.com or you can try to email me at jtoomim at jtoomim.org. Those are both M's, not N's. My last name is quite tricky. Um, feel free to email me with questions and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. My pleasure.